at March in downtown Grand Rapids, which in the past has posed problems for drivers. News 8's Donovan Long is with the marchers. And Donovan, what are you seeing and what do we know about the precautions police are taking? Well, Emily, several people are starting to line up here in Lincoln Park to protest what they say are the challenges the immigrant community face. I do want to step out of the way to give you a different perspective just to kind of show you what we're seeing on the ground here. Many of the demonstrators have just finished decorating their cars with signs that support that particular community. Several protesters here are part of Cosecha, which is a group that draws attention to issues plaguing the immigrant community. One demonstrator tells me he's using his voice and his presence to call on lawmakers and those in position of power to adopt some type of legislation to allow immigrants to have driver's licenses, among other federal benefits. I ask him why he's passionate about this protest, and he tells me this. I want it to, uh, partly I want it to shame other white people into uh, behaving in the moral upstanding way that a lot of people think that they do. I want them to, um, I want other people like me to know that uh, our position of privilege comes with the responsibility to help those who need help. Now, this demonstration is slated to get started here in just a few seconds. It was supposed to start at noon. I know we are about two minutes into uh, the 12 o'clock hour, but we are getting ready to uh, start the protest here in a little bit. There is a police presence here on site to ensure the safety of everybody involved. I should also mention that everybody here that I've seen are wearing uh, face masks to protect th themselves and those around them um, as we are still fighting for this pandemic in the midst of this protest. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Donovan Long, News 8. All right, Donovan. Thank you.